Have you had a long day at work? You've got to come home now. Clean your filters. Okay, so water testing. Yeah, there's uh, been obviously been playing around with the water today. Right, camera, lighting, action. Hey everybody and welcome back to Koi Pond Lifestyle. So what have we got on today? Right, interesting stuff today. I've got usual stuff as well, but a couple of interesting things. I've been watching some other YouTube channels and watching their water tests and seeing that certain tests are coming out a little bit different. So I've had a look at mine and I've got some results to show you that in a minute. Um, got filter cleaning, that's just a lot what a lot of us are doing nowadays, just making sure the filters are maintained and cleaned. The Vortex has uh, got a good clean out all the way down to the bottom. Now somebody commented, why do you use your siphon to clear out your vortex? Which is a case of opening the valve and then just whoosh, suck the, the rubbish out and then turn it back off and everybody's happy. Tried that, but it didn't draw all the waste out. It only drew it out from a sort of a section like that. If that makes sense, sort of five or six inch, no, four, five, six inches uh, square around the, the outlet. And it left the rest in there. So I'm gonna look at something potentially to to solve that how can i get it to draw the whole thing but that's uh, through the winter like i say i use a siphon because i don't i don't use a lot of water then the comment i had of opening their valve and just doing it for a few seconds it clears it all i don't know how, that, how that's done because mine won't do that i've i've I, in fact i took a video i'll show you the video later i took a video of it almost empty and it just it just wasn't shifting it all maybe i should have emptied it completely but i might have to do that in the future i don't know but anyway i'm gonna look at something to do with that as well um Somebody also commented on what I do with my second bay when I'm clearing that out with the, the siphon. So I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of these siphon things and to be honest, I thought you guys were getting bored of the siphon or maybe you are, I, I have no idea. But somebody said, what can you see and what does it look like when you siphon the second bay, which is next to the media stuff? So I'll show you. I just do a quick one because it's, it's virtually the same as the other one really. Siphon goes in and I just do a zigzag line and clear it all out and I'll do maybe a 10 second thing just to show you. Um, I don't go in to the media itself because it just draws the media up the siphon and then everything gets blocked. So I don't do that, I just do it underneath. So how I position them is where the, where the biological media is, because that's moving media, it's a K1000 bed that's flowing. It flows from here, you know, the water goes down through this bay, up through this one and then onward. Well, this bay sort of self cleans itself. So all the rubbish floats down to the bottom. As some of it comes through, obviously you can see in the, in the filter floss that that creates a lot. But anyway, catch it down there, but all the, all the rubbish itself falls back into this bay. This, this level is where all the, the media is and I can get to it from, from this one. So hence why I've got brushes than this, because I can get to this underneath this to clean it without having to take it all out or drain it because the drain is on this side. The drain is here, not here. <sighs> yeah, it's interesting because a lot of people say I've got this wrong. I've got this in the wrong order, but I've got it how it works for me. You know, and different uh, bays are different. So that's what's happening with that. So because I've done uh, quite a, an extensive clean of, the, of two of five of the bays today, used to put quite a bit of water. And because of some of the test results that I'll show you in a second, I've had to do a water change. So let's have a look at those. Okay, so water testing. Yeah, there's, uh, I've done Obviously been playing around with water today and uh, as you'll see later on we've we've dumped a, a, a set of, an amount of water so we're doing some cleaning of the filters mainly the mechanical side as, we, as you'll see later and um, doing some usual water tests I've been watching some uh, other channels Ramsey uh, Mucker he has been doing a trial on leaving his water changing for as long as he can and sees what happens and um, he's found that his kh has started to drop now that happens in my filters every year because as i said before i don't run my trickle in and trickle out system 24 7 365 as a lot of others do which is fine so i see this as well with mine so for example i did my kh test a little while ago and it's come out at three now it's usually between four and five, and it should be between four and six. So yeah, it's come out at three, so I'm, I'm a point down, but it's usually four. So what I'm now doing is, I've got my 
hose pipe connected and I'm doing the water change anyway because I used a bit of water and I haven't done a water change so I thought I'd just take the advantage to do the filters top it up and water change at the same time so I'm doing about sort of a 10% but I'm quite lucky in Stoke-on-Trent because my tap water has a high KH reading so it reads between sort of six and seven which is great for me because then I when my KH drops instead of going out and buying bags and bags of bicarbonate of soda I just stick the tap on and do a water change and that increases my KH back to where it is so at the moment like I say it's three and tomorrow I'll probably do another test I'll leave this water running now to do maybe a 10 or a 15 percent change and then it will slowly bring the KH back up again so you you've got to try not to do any big sharp changes in KH or pH because the fish don't like that so I usually do a nice little run in 10 to 15 percent it sort of brings it up a point and then if I need to bring it up again do do something similar or just let it trickle in for a few hours uh, and it brings itself up so it brings itself up naturally rather than putting any bicarb in I know some people have suggested putting cut bicarbonate of soda in which is great look at that shadow there that's annoying isn't it let's see if we get rid of that shadow nope so <laughs> so yeah my nitrite and my ph no problem at all just that my kh has started dropping so i've uh, decided to put a bit more uh, water in just while i'm cleaning out my tubs as well people keep asking you know it's the time it's coming to the time of the season when people start buying or replacing test kits somebody said he was about to replace his test kit what do i use they've always said the api is always a good one for me um i use the other test kit the Colombo one for the KH because me that one doesn't do it um, It's really it's what you get used to with your pond to be honest, you know people say no Don't trust API's go I go with Colombo or I go with XYZ. Yeah, go for go with them go with what suits your pond Because <laughs> I just find the API suits mine. I've tried a couple of others and that one seems to do the business so um, I would always say sometimes stick with what you know sometimes it's better the devil you know is it not? So just while I'm putting in this water, we're going to take a short break. And after the break, we're going to come back and have a look at the, the cleaning of that second bay that somebody asked. So we'll see you after the break. Have you had a long day at work? You've got to come home now and clean your filters. You've got to feed the fish. You've got to feed the dog and then take him for a long walk. You have a little gap to fill and you're hungry. Why not take a Staffordshire oat cake? Mmm, this is my favorite. Sausage and cheese. Want some sauce? Brown or red, it doesn't matter. Staffordshire oat cakes, they're full of oats and they fill that gap. Mmm. Let's get on with some filter cleaning. Right then, the vortex is virtually cleared now, so I'm just gonna get me my little GoPro -y thing, flush it into the water, point it sort of at where the waste is, and then open the valve, and then see how long, or see if it clears all the waste, because I don't know, I've, ne <laughs> I've never watched it to be honest until somebody said the other day. Um, it is gonna waste a whole vortex of water, but. Right, camera, lighting, action. You're going in the water. Right, so there you go. Open valve, <coughs> just let it drain out. No, mine didn't. I don't know whether yours does, but mine didn't. It just sort of took the first lot near the, the open valve and then that was it. End of game. So I'm going to have to look at something that's going to grab all that waste if I'm doing a vortex empty. I'm just going to just siphon this lot out now. Um, we're just a couple of times, just get it, some of whatever muck off the bottom and then uh, rock and roll from there really. So. Let me just get the waste out of here and then we're going to have a look at how we're going to do this. Hmm. Right, well that's settling. I'm going to get in your, uh, your, somebody's request to show the second bay bin 
siphoned out. Let's get that done. Right, I think I've done that siphon to death now. Uh, I shouldn't be bringing that out again now, unless I can find a really good excuse for it, because it is ace. So I'm gonna put some thought together on how I can engineer something or create something that will draw everything out of that vortex in one go. Got a couple of ideas, so that'll be for an, uh, another video. Um, people were asking about, do I add clay or water conditioner to my pond? through winter. No, I don't usually, to be honest. I did a video that I'll post up here uh, that I created last winter to do some tests on is it worth putting water conditioners or clay in your pond. So you can have a look at that if you want. But the overall conclusion was that no, I don't. Uh, you can do. It's, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Uh, sometimes I suppose if it's, if it's got minerals in and stuff then it might do the fish some good. You know, and, and occasionally I, I did put it in a couple of times last winter while I was doing the trials. Didn't find, there was no detriment to it, it doesn't do any harm. So I suppose if you can afford to put it in, it went in through winter. Um, but I don't think you've got massive gain, personally, in my pond. So, no, I, uh, I don't do that. The two conditioners or clays I use is... Fog! Uh, and uh, Coin Master's Advantage. Uh, you find a lot of people use both of them. There's other ones, Mediclay, and uh, there's a, another JPD, I think they call it. I'm not sure about that one. But anyway, there's loads out there that you can use. And again, we'll be looking more at those when the pond starts opening again, and I start re-adding those into the pond. I was hoping to bring you an update on the replacement upside down aquarium thing, whatever you want to call it. I've done it again. Uh, I haven't got an update, unfortunately. I called my fabricator the other day and he's, he's really busy at the moment doing a lot of site visits so I was hoping to get to him this week and see where we could go. I've done some drawings now on how I see the frame that he needs his expert opinion with so uh, like I said I have no update on that unfortunately because I haven't done any more on it because Tony's real busy. So as soon as we get a time and a date I can, I can get over to him and then get more uh, of more, think, get, get things moving forward with that because I want to get it ready for sort of late February, early March, in it, test it, make need some adjustments, and then away we go. So that video has been made in the background, and uh, it'll just come out as one video, but I'll keep updating on here every now and again, just keep people up to date. And on that bombshell, thanks very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please click the like, click subscribe, hitting the bell for notifications, and share to all your friends. Thanks very much for watching. This was Quick Lifestyle.